Today we're gonna to review the Wall Eversharp Award Pen. It comes in this nice uh, jewel tone box, and when you open up the box, you can see that there's um, a warranty card in here. So when you flip it over, you can kind of save the information about the pen you bought, as well as an informational little booklet. There's some history of the Wall Eversharp brand, as well as some collector's pens. You can also see a little bit about the owners of the company and Sid that provided the pens to me is here. And then um, in the back, there's a fun little quote. Horses have been for years the main mode of transport. They are now used for pleasure, and it is the same today for luxury pins to the delight of collectors and enthusiasts of these fine writing instruments. So I just thought that was kind of cute, and they list that as their philosophy. Um, first thing you notice when you open the top of this case here is this really lush um, fleece that they have the box lined in. And when you pull out the award pen itself, it comes in a protective jewel case that has the wall ever sharp stickers on either side. So we go ahead and open that up and take the pen out. When I first got this pen, I was a little afraid uh, to remove it from these plastic little fingers that hold it in place because I thought maybe the finish would scratch, but it held up okay. Let me just get that out of the way. So here is the actual award pen itself. It's full rose gold plated on brass. So the first thing you notice is the heft of this pen. It is quite heavy. It weighs in at 48 grams uh, total with a 16 gram cap. Um, I compare that to the Technic, which is another pen that they produce. They look almost exactly the same in terms of design, but as I just felt right there, um, totally different weight. This is, um, the Technic is basically manufactured out of billet aluminum. So it only comes in at 25 grams and a nine gram cap, which is almost half the weight of the award pen, even though they're very similar in design. So anyway, this is rose gold plate, rose gold plated on brass. It also comes in um, a palladium trim version, which is kind of chrome with gold, um, gold plated accessories like the clip and such. So you have your choice of what you would like to write with. The box itself underneath this um, fleece lining, there isn't anything here, just so you can see, but I'm sure you could put, um, cartridges or anything that you wanted here. Um, this pen, speaking of cartridges, is a converter or long Waterman cartridges. So I can show you that in just a second. So when we take the cap off, first of all, it has the full wrap over clip here. So you can see that um, on the actual cap or clip itself, it says Eversharp. It's engraved in sort of an italic font. Set that off to the side. Um, plastic section, 18 karat gold solid gold nib, and it's using a number seven uh, nib. And when we pull it apart, it does have a joint at the section, which I appreciate because the Skyliner 50 model that I reviewed recently doesn't, and you can't really see what's going on. So obviously I have a converter here loaded with their Everberry ink, which is kind of a purple blue ink, which I really like. It's just a twist converter. Put that back together for you. Um, so let's get to a writing sample. So you can, oh, that's one thing I forgot to address. I'm a poster, I love to post the cap on the back. This one, I will tell you, won't last very long posted. Um, number one, you'll probably mar the finish just a little bit, because there is a section where the inner cap liner doesn't come all the way to the edge, so I would be afraid of some fine scratches on your um, rose gold finish there. But also, it's just heavy. Um, when you've got a cap that weighs in, you know, as heavy as this one is at 16 grams, it just kind of pulls away, pulls your hand away from the page. So it's not fun to write with forever. So let's take a look at how this writes using their Everberry ink. Oops. remember what I'm writing. So you can see that there's a little bit of line variation, not um, as much as like a flex, but it does give you some. And uh, it's, a, it's a really nice writer, a smooth feeling pen. In fact, I was writing with this award pen um, at the same time, I was also doing a writing sample of the Technic, and I was just trying to get a feel for what the difference was, because the Technic is a stainless steel nib, and where the award is the 18 karat gold solid gold. And what I found was um, the Technic is, uh, has a little more feedback 
than the 18 karat gold solid gold nib. So yes, they're equally smooth in my opinion, but the Technic just has a little more feedback. When you're writing, you feel the page a little bit more, where this feels like a, just an, a super smooth um, version of an 18 karat gold nib. There's not any feedback, it just kind of glides across the page. But I um, prefer the weight of the billet aluminum in this specific pen. So anyway, if you'd like to see close-up detailed pictures of the nib and um, the pen itself, you can check out this pen on bestfountainpen.com, my website. Thanks so much.